G'day guys and welcome to Medieval Mayhem. On this channel you'll find lots of videos into the whole medieval period and right into the Dark Ages too. Primarily we focus on the 10th, 11th and 12th centuries but we cover a lot of other time spans too. You'll find lots of uh, videos which do reviews into other people's gear. You'll find lots of DIY videos into costuming, into furniture. You'll find cooking videos and you'll find analysis of events, how things turned out the way that they did, who was involved, what happened. Okay guys, so in this video what we're going to do is we're going to take a look at my basic leather toolkit. There's a lot of tools out there. Some of them are really not worth investing in. Others are very, very good. And you can actually find uh, ways that you can use your sort of general household tools to cover off on a lot of it. Let's take a look at what I use. Alrighty, so here is my basic leather toolkit. This is what I'm using this year, as in 2020. Uh, and we're gonna take a look at what we've got here. Radio. so you're gonna need a ruler. Uh, this is a one meter ruler. We're in Australia here, so for my American viewers and Canadian viewers and so on, uh, I'm going to use metric as opposed to trying to convert to the imperial measurement that I don't always know very well. Alrighty. So just simply moving around the, uh, the table, we have a leather die, we have a clear varnish or a sealant, we have a uh, box cutter knife, in this case it's Stanley Fat Max. Uh, decent pair of scissors, that's always important. I use a, um, a wax coated thread, that's also very important. A really good quality hammer. This is what they call a, um, a swivel knife. That's really, really useful. Uh, and you'll find me using that in a lot of my leather videos. I have a range of different punches. This is a really good four in one punch. Uh, as I say, I've got a couple of different ones that I use. Um, this is a really good tool. It's excellent for making things like scabbards, sheaths, uh, burnishing leather, all that kind of stuff. And you'll find me using that in a lot of the different videos as well. Leather punch for um, eyelets. Uh, another punch. I don't use this as much, but it is useful to have from time to time. These are leather bevelers. Uh, I use a couple of different size ones. Um, and you'll use different sizes for different thicknesses of leather. A range of different leather stamps. I have a whole collection um, just for putting in different, uh, different motifs and so on. This is called a stylus. Again, you'll see me using this a lot. And it's essentially a blunt uh, instrument which you use to carve a pattern onto the leather uh, when you're going to. But anyway, we have an. Uh, this isn't using this to to carve in from the edge of the leather. This is really important. Blunt needles uh, for stitching leather. Uh, this is just a general tool. This is actually an engineer scribe which I've just repurposed. These are some uh, some leather stamps that I use for when I'm doing my tooling work, and and that basically is is pretty much it guys very simple tool collection um, I use obviously the uh, the sponge for wetting down my leather you don't want to make it too wet and you'll find that in a lot of my videos as well uh, alrighty alrighty guys I really hope you got something out of today's video please like subscribe and share and I'll catch you in my next video